up here you buy gas in a can. We're gonna go check out a sweet spot. I'm gonna go for a little walk. That is a very poisonous plant. Eventually you can't move and then your organs start shutting down and it's kind of fun up here actually. <laughs> the San Joseph River. Or maybe it's San Joseph. Where does it go? I wonder. Should we explore it a little bit? Well, the uh, tire's holding its pressure just fine. So that's pretty good. Anyway, that was cool river. On with the day. Up here you buy gas in a can. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. So it turned out to be, um, that was about 40 bucks. It was a buck 85, a liter. I think I put gas in my van like that yet, but I'm gonna do it now. They have a little pump over there, but he was saying that there's no filter on it. So what he has to do, the, the owner of this place, he's had it for six weeks now, is he drives to town with a truck full of these cans and he fills them up and brings them out here. So anyway, let's get this in there. It was a little like nerve wracking. I was like, is it gonna take the whole thing? I was like, I don't know. It started sounding funny and I was like, it's new to me filling my van up with the jerry can. <laughs> they, they help me print my license. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and see these guys in a few days, probably a um, couple days, a few days, something like that. Wait, what? what? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna drive up to this um, place that they were telling me about and go check it out. And apparently it's really cool to check out for low tide. So we're here, we're gonna go check out a sweet spot. Oh, it's gonna be good. And I got my license, so I'm good to go. Um, although I might be going to a spot tonight where I won't be able to fish because there is a, something going on there. I'll show you later. It's a bit washboardy in some spots. Like a Dodge Grand Caravan. Oh, here's a cool spot. That's pretty awesome. Oh. So, I'm just gonna lay low tonight, but uh, apparently, 
there's a, there's a pretty good hike nearby. That's what I want to go check out. Maybe I'll go for a walk, but it's, uh, I'm betting the mosquitoes are going to be out soon. Um, I might go for a little walk, but yeah, <laughs> it's great. This stuff will kill you, no doubt. That is a very poisonous plant, this one here. That is called water lily or poison hemlock. It's more or less the same family. That is a very deadly plant. There's another one there. <laughs> There's another one there. Yep. Apparently that's, uh, I think there's a famous philosopher, I think his name was Socrates. And he was, um, you know, he was uh, committed to, um, what do you call that? When you have to die for your crimes. Execution, that's it. <laughs> what a word, holy smokes, imagine facing that. Um, he had a tea from this for his execution. And, uh, he was apparently documenting part of it to a doctor or something like that that was writing notes as he was dying from it. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, not to be messed with not to be fooled around with. It's pretty dangerous stuff. So, uh, yeah, bad, bad plant. Like, you know, <laughs> it'll kill you, literally. Um, basically, it it's a paralytic plant, so it, it's a paralyzer. It, it starts on your extremities and, and you start getting paralyzed from your extremities up, uh, is just what I read. I have no experience of this, thank you, thank God. Um, but it's uh, it's a bad one. And then it works all the way into your organs. And um, eventually you can't move and then your organs start shutting down and they stop working and that's it. Um, I think there's reports of some people interacting with it and not quite getting all the way to death but getting really messed up from it and then having very debilitating life afterwards. But again, this looks quite similar to a carrot leaf and very similar flower to a carrot. Although it's not a carrot. Definitely not a carrot. Anyway, uh, I just had to chat with my neighbors. <laughs> They said I can camp here for free. This is great. I got the hood open because I'm cooling the engine down. And uh, oh, there's something coming off right there. That's new. Huh. Okay, I got some bacon cooking. Okay, 
that's coming along. And this here is cauliflower, green onions, jalapeno peppers, and garlic. And then I've got some uh, cheese curds. So I'm gonna put some of those in there. It'll be somewhat like a poutine, but not quite. And it looks like the, the sun came out. Oh, that looks good. Seriously? <laughs> right there, eh? <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, guys, you sub out the fries for cauliflower and you put whatever else you want into it. I'm going to enjoy this. Well guys, I'm gonna climb in the van for the night. The bugs here are nuts. Um, there's so many. <laughs> this is probably, I mean, it's not as bad as Ontario and that kind of thing, but in BC, this is the most I've seen in one place. So um, I think it doesn't help that there's like a little swampy area right there. So I get pretty itchy. I'm gonna go in the van and um, Call it a night, you guys. So uh, we'll see you next time. Tomorrow is going to be another beautiful day on this island. And I get to go check out this place called San Joseph Bay. Or San Joseph Bay. I think it's kind of it's similar to my spelling. J-O-S-E-F. Joseph. Yep. I think I got that right. <laughs> anyway, whereas my name is J-O-S-E-P-H. So, uh... <clears throat> I think they just changed pH with an F. So that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. Rumor has it the best time to go is when there's low tide. And that's somewhere around um, 4 a.m. Or uh, it's going to be kind of dark around then. Uh, and that's, that's really low, which would be the best time to go. And then um, tomorrow afternoon around 3.30, I think it's about 2 meters or something like that. And then... Uh, I believe the next morning, I don't know if I'm going to stay here that long, but the next morning at 5 a.m. it's going to be uh, low tide as well. But uh, if it's if it's amazing and I just need to get two takes on it then uh, and spend some more time down there, then maybe I'll stay an extra day. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I also want to go check out this other, this other cove up the way and uh, see that. And I think then after that I'll... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, it's kind of fun up here, actually. And it's more fun now that I've kind of split off from Chrome and I'm kind of doing my own thing. He's probably off doing his own thing. And uh, it's just different because when you're alone, um, I'm kind of doing what I'm doing, I suppose, where I'm making videos and stuff. It's nice when you're alone because you're just... Uh, you get to go at your own pace and you get to go where your heart carries you and what you want to do and that's pretty important i think uh that man has got a lot of experience with that sort of thing and he was struggling to stay at my pace so it's nice that we're split off and we both have completely different agendas when it comes to filming stuff and going and seeing places i think anyway well, it's true. 
All right, guys, I'm taking a while. Say goodnight. So we'll see you later on. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Thank you.